it is. It's Nora and Lord Byron. He wants to say hi. Say hi. Look how sweet he is. He's such a sweetie. He literally will do anything you ask of him because he's such a gentleman. Such a good boy. But right now, he's looking for his little mouse. It's under my chair. He's like, let me play. Let me hunt. Because you're a hunter, aren't you? He has little nap boogies because he was just literally napping. And I was like, buddy, we're filming. And he's like sign me up. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the amazing fabulous story that is the soulmate game. So I'm really glad we're continuing. It is chapter 11 out of 15. So we're literally almost finished. And not to keep you guys in suspense, I'm just gonna continue the story. This is Laura Bryant's Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. Give this video a like and let's go. You and me moving in together in our own place. Finally, like right this second, I want a garden and a pool and a sunroom and really all those things. I'm gonna say finally, the roommate thing was fun for a while, but I'm ready to level up with you. Like, level up, level up. There's no one I'd rather do this with than you, love. Well, I would hope so. You know, after this whole beautiful little romantic picnic you set up for us. Okay, let's see where we're gonna live. Oh my God, I love her dress. Well, this is it. All packed up and officially on the move. I feel like our life as an engaged couple is truly beginning now. Guys, this is where the turbulence is gonna begin. I'm hoping and not hoping at the same time because I love them together and I don't want any heartbreak on any of their parts. So we'll see. I just have one tiny little question about a tiny little detail. And that would be what? What? Where the heck are we moving to? Wait, you don't have a place for me to move into? Because why did she move then? Why did she pack her stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Um, seeing as we haven't actually bought a house, we can either move into my apartment or yours. I'm cool with either. As long as you're there, that's what counts. Good answer. Okay, I think we should move to your place. Move to my place. Let's move to his place. I want to see what it looks like. I want to peek into your own private world. I hope you won't find any skeletons in the closet. <laughs> you, you know? Make yourself a home. Oh my god, look at that little dog! Pistachio! Oh, it's very bachelor patty. I love. Look at the view. So, what do you think? I think we can make this work. Not bad for a bachelor pad. Not bad at all. Prepare to have your apartment bombarded with my stuff. <laughs> oh, please. Oh my god, a little avocado pillow. I know what this room was missing. A plush avocado. What can I say? Oh, is it okay if I put a picture on the nightstand? Go right ahead. This is your place too now. I have a little something to put too. Aww. What is he gonna put? Who's a fine woman in the photo? Aww, you mean all the other girls but me. So what's the thing you want to add? Oh my god, you guys. You guys my little baby. So adorable. Like who's cuter, Adam or Laura Byron? The answer is Lord Byron, but Adam is a close second. Oh, you're too sweet. I can't handle it. He snuck a pic of me when I wasn't paying attention. But who is that gorgeous woman? Said, but who is that gorgeous woman? Uh, I just can't place her. <laughs> and his parents. Hope you don't mind me putting this next to your picture. The Rens? Grandparents? Are they their grandparents? Who are they? My grandparents. I never had the chance to tell you about them. Well, do tell. Were you guys close? More than close. They were my best friends. The day my parents got divorced still haunts me. I was just a kid. Grand and Grams bought me to their place for a week. Gave me a break, you know? <sighs> We went to the movies, the mall, even an amusement park. They took care of me when I needed them. And I kind of understood from them being there for me that everything was going to be okay. Ben and Grams left too soon. But this photo reminds me that they're always there with me. Honey bun, now you have me. Aw, thank you for sharing that with me. I wish I could have met your grand, grand and Gramps. You take after them, you know? I'm gonna say I wish I could have met them. Honestly, they sound like really good people. They really were. They would have loved Japora. I mean, I don't doubt that. So, can the photo live here? Uh, without a doubt, honor the memory of his grand and gramps. Put a pic of your favorite actor instead. <laughs> yes. I mean, someone in the comments said, why are all the non-diamond options so bad? And honestly, I have to agree with you. It's not even like a medium or it's not like, 10 diamonds will be um, say no, but because you don't want to look at old people or um, say, but like it's saying no because you want to put a picture of an actor. Who would do that in their right mind? No one, no one. Unless you could just can't pick any diamond options, then, then you're forced to. So yeah, I agree with you guys. The non-diamond options are just horrendous. Of course you can put it there. This is your place and you can do whatever you want with it. It's our place now. Yes, thank you. Well, now a little piece of your Grand and Grams will live here too. You're the best, thank you, Pora. My question is, why didn't he have that picture there before? Was he like, okay, so poor, I'm putting Pora now, finally you can put a picture of my grandparents next to her. Otherwise it would have been too lonely there on my nightstand, you know? Very interesting. So it's night now and we're watching TV with our puppy. 
this is the supreme lazing sesh, my favorite. But my stomach is telling me to get off my butt and feed it. I'm starving too. Should we order takeout? Mmm, this is our first dinner at the apartment together. I feel like making it special. Want to cook up storm with me? You know I do. How about a perfect storm? I love cooking. How, you do the cooking and I'll be the storm. I didn't know you were into cooking. I'm gonna say, how about a perfect storm? I love cooking. I don't get the whole storm reference, but we'll do it. So you're a master chef, I take it. I prefer to be called maestro. What are you craving, love? A little pistachio. I die of happiness with a big plate of vegetarian lasagna, filet mignon, and garlic butter. Big salmon with mango salsa. <gasps> that one. Big salmon with mango salsa. Now you're speaking my language. Okay, what ingredients do we need? Mango, salmon. Done. Let's see. Extra virgin olive oil, two salmon fillets, two mangoes, one bell pepper, one lime, honey, paprika. Okay, that sounds about right. Hmm, looks like we have everything except the salmon and the most important part. We do have some sausages though. I'll take care of it. Let me go fish it out of the river. I'll go to the supermarket and be back in a flash. You really don't mind? Thanks, love. Oh, shoot, I can't find salmon anywhere. Are they all out? Excuse me? No any substitution for salmon and baked salmon. I really need your help. Please tell me you know how to cook. That's not what we need. We need his help. I really, really need your help. Okay? Mm. The face. I'm home and I have some bad news. Adam, where are you? Where do you go? <gasps> oh my God, look at our cutie. Holy smoke, what's all this? And why does it smell so good? I just wanted to do something special for you. Did you secretly cook us dinner while I searched and searched for salmon at the grocery store? They were all sold out. Uh, I may have. I ordered express delivery for the salmon so I could surprise you and have it ready for you when you got home. You never cease to amaze me. My favorite song playing, my favorite flowers on the table, and the dinner I was dying for? Everything is too perfect. Guys, he may just be competing for the number one spot as the sweetest little man ever. You know, with that guy. Right there. What can I say? You surprise me. Inspire me. Inspire. There's also a letter for you. Never in a million years did I think I'd get engaged to a woman like you. I'm thrilled to be moving in with you. Let's celebrate this night, the beginning of so many more sweet memories to come. I love you with all my heart, your awesome fiance. I love that you called yourself awesome. I respect that and I agree. You are awesome. This is so darn sweet of you. Thank you, I love it. Handsome and romantic, a real catch. I'm saying thank you, I love it. Just, just love it. There's no more words. I'm glad to hear it. Let's dig in, why don't we? I don't want your salmon to get cold. He really went above and beyond. I can't wait to celebrate this first night of living together in our own place. Accept his gesture and have a romantic dinner under the fairy light. Tell me you'd rather eat in front of the TV. If this was a Nora dinner, let's just say, I may have been like, let's eat in front of the TV, do some Netflix and chill, you know, like, but I am not, this is Pora, and she is going to accept the romantic gesture from her awesome fiance. Yeah, let's eat. She seems very engaged. How on earth did you have time to make all of this? I don't even know myself. I started prepping the things the minute you left. I just really wanted to be able to surprise you. Good thing I took so long at the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid you'd come back too soon and I'd spoil the surprise. Yeah, good thing that you literally can't even trust me to find salmon in a grocery store. That's just me, you're Pora. Okay, then yes, eat that sandwich. So how was it? I'll admit it was my first time making it, but I gave it my best shot. Could have fooled me, it's super tasty. Really? Yeah, duh. Then I'll make breakfast tomorrow if that's okay with you. Okay, what don't you want to do for me? I feel like this girl's gonna become like a spoiled couch potato because she won't do anything because of her awesome fiance. Does bacon like eggs? Only if you wear a sassy apron. And will you bring it to bed? That one, because I love breakfast in bed. And will you bring it to bed? Hmm, <laughs> that'll cost you a bowl full of kisses. Deal. A little expensive, but I'll pay it. What the? Did you also make this cake? Oh, I did. You may have noticed I don't do things by halves. Okay, man, after my own heart. The cake? I understand a dinner, but a cake? That takes time. Mmm, so good. Maybe I should open a restaurant one day. Uh, or you could keep being my own private chef. I don't share. I really enjoyed dinner. Thank you so much. So I didn't help you cook, or really with anything, right? You can make up for it with a little dance. That I can do. I am a great dancer. You're so beautiful. Kiss him, let him kiss you. Wrap your arms tight around each other. Kiss him, obviously. For that meal? Your eyes fixed on him, you bring him closer to you. You press your lips on his and kiss him like there's no tomorrow. And then there's a tomorrow. Ooh, good morning, beautiful. She looks nervous. Breakfast is ready. Stay back. Why? I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Oh, that's why she's nervous. So what? Um, have you even seen me? My hair's a rat's nest. I don't have any makeup on. I didn't take a shower. I'm all stinky. I'm gonna say my hair's a rat's nest because when I wake up, my hair is like a mess. My hair's a rat's nest. You look perfect to me. Another good answer. I love the way your hair looks in the morning. You're just saying that to be nice. Okay, where did all these insecurities come from, Pora? Untrue, and I can prove it. Adam approaches you. His gaze full of love for you. You can feel 
feel I'm drinking in every part of your body with admiration. Your eyes get lost in his and you feel so beautiful, loved, sassy. I'm gonna say loved. His hands run along your hips before grabbing them to prop you onto the bathroom cabinet. All right. Bora. Yes, Adam. I love seeing you like this right when you wake up. Adam leads into you. His mouth runs along your neck, leaving sweet kisses. Tickling your skin before he nips at it playfully. Yeah. Are you guys ticklish? I am so ticklish. And I'm like, anyone in my comes near like this area, I'm just like this, I'm like twitching. Ah. What do you say to us having some fun before I go to work? His words light you up, awaken a burning fire inside you. Your heart is suddenly racing. You want to give in, but Adam always knows how to make me feel hella sassy. Give in to the temptation, let things get hot in the bathroom. Tell him he is disgusting for thinking you'd be into that. Okay, is it just me or are these non-diamond options are getting worse by each option, like by each turn? Like how disgusting? You can't just be like, tell Adam you're not into it and say no and go eat breakfast. You have to tell him he's disgusting? I mean, can you even salvage a relationship after something like that? <laughs> you know I'm always up for a little fun. I'm a wild cat. Tightening his grip on your hips, he pulls you in close, staring at you like he wants to eat you up in the bite. I can't even move. He's too confident, mesmerizing, sassy. Uh, mesmerizing. It's a nice word. All you have to do is snap his fingers and I do anything he'd ask of me. Instead, it's you snapping your fingers and he does everything like you, Prince Charming. Still don't believe I want you all of the time. Hmm, I think I need proof. Whatever you say, ma'am. He cups your chin and brings your mouth to his. You wrap your legs around his waist, inviting him closer. He kisses you hungrily as he runs his fingers down your back, sending shivers all over your body. He's such a so magical, so powerful. I just want to be his. Go all the way, kiss him over and over until you have to leave. Well, let's just do that. Like I said, we're gonna save it for marriage. Did I say that? I think I said it. I mean, at least on TV, so they know we're saving it for marriage. You close your eyes as he kisses you, alternating sweetness with burning passion. You can't believe you found a man who loves you so much. I know, me too. I can't believe it. A man who makes you feel special every moment of your day. You kiss him with all the love in your heart, over and over until the very last second before you both leave. And we are at the diner or having lunch. Never thought I'd be happy to have a water leak at the office. I really need a day off. Me too. I miss hanging out with you. Oh, I can I get you girls? A, a chocolate, chocolate sundae with lots of whipped cream and a cherry. cherry. They say together. <laughs> And don't you forget it. Wow, attitude. So what's new? Talk to me, fill me in. Well, how to say it? Is she dating our besties bestie? Nova, I recognize that look. Are you in love? Your cheeks are pink and your eyes are all shiny. You, my dear, are in love. I'm not in love, oh my gosh. I'm smitten. Austin is everything I want in a man. Eek! Adam's best friend. I'm so happy for you. I totally proved two besties, two best friends. Yes. How impossibly cute the four of us will all be besties. So tell me everything. When did you get together? And how was your first kiss? Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's up? Let's say I have a crush on him, but he has no idea. I thought you were gonna say he has a girlfriend. I was gonna be like, mm, what? I'm too shy to fess up. What if he doesn't feel the same way? No, well, first off, you're an amazing woman. How could anyone not love you? I agree. Second, I saw the way Austin looked at you at the golden party. He was already crazy about you. You really think so? Uh, think I know so. That's why I'm going to help you out. How about I set up a double date tonight? We could go to a club. That'd be awesome. Would you really do that for me? Uh, yeah, of course I would. I'm your bestie. Of course. Ain't that what best friends are for? True love can be stopped. Besties. Okay, she's texting Adam, calling Adam. Hey, love. Hey, Adam, are you up for a double date tonight? Uh, with Austin and Nova? How did you know? How did you know? I've been hoping to get together since the golden party. Austin's so into her, but he's too shy to make a move. Oh my god! Yay. I knew it. Same for Nova. Okay, so let's get this thing into gear. Operation Secret Cupid starts now. I'll have three cupcakes, four donuts, two ice creams. Ooh, and a slice of cake too. Auntie Caddy. She's gonna dress us, let me guess. Yeah, it's all for me. So what? You got a problem? Auntie Caddy. Bora, so good to see you here. Do you have the day off? Uh, yeah. I want to join in on my sweet feats. Actually, we were going to the mall to shop for dresses. We're getting ready for a double date with Adam and Austin. Oh my God. First off, Nova and Austin. Yes, please. You guys are the cutest. Second, the mall. Don't make me cringe. You have an auntie caddy. Why would you even go to the mall? Follow me. We're going to my boutique. Yes. I still can't get over the fact that I get to be outfitted by you again. Violet's boutique is always open for poor and all her friends. Thank you so much for helping us with a double date. I want Nova to knock Austin's socks off tonight. I've got you, my dear. I have outfits that'll make Austin's and Adam's jaw drop tonight. Um, oh, let's see these showstoppers. Try them on. I want to see how beautiful my creations look on you too. Okay, love that. That looks great on Nova. The pink matches her hair. Wow, the guys will be too dazzled to see straight, trip over their own feet, forget how 
to speak English. Be too dazzled to see straight. I love this one. Let's try the second look. That one, definitely. Oh my God. I think Nova looks better in this one, so we're gonna go with this one. Because when a bestie got to do her bestie job, you always take one for the team. Let's go. OMG, we are pretty gorgeous smoking hot. I can't wait to see Austin's reaction when he sees me in this. Just don't blow him away too hard. You want him around for the date. Which outfit should we wear on a double date, Pora? Nope. Yes. I like how they are matching. Nova and I look bomb in this. Austin won't stand a chance if she shows up in Auntie Caddy's look. Charm them to bits in these bewitching outfits. Look at a place in office wear. Charming. The pants off of them. These are perfect. Yes, I was hoping you'd go for that look. Knock them dead, ladies. Okay, Auntie Caddy needs uh mr caddy and then we are good to go with the uh, three most perfect couples except our hosts four four perfect couples i'm so nervous i don't think i can go in you have nothing to worry about love have you seen how stunning you are i do feel kind of sassy in this see everything will be just fine just be yourself okay okay i got this yay oh okay they're so cute both of them those two guys and us two so what can i say match made in heaven whoa you're breathtaking pora yeah, i know it you look so beautiful today nova thank you that's very sweet of you okay got it he's drinking whiskey we're drinking champs so you guys are all shucked up that's rad yeah me and poor are doing the domestic thing it's actually sassier than you might think <laughs> Obviously, what else would he think? I can imagine I'd love living with a woman I love too. I mean, I'd love it if I was in love with someone, obviously. Because I'm not, obviously. I mean, I don't have a girlfriend, just so you know. Someone's nervous. Um, how about we go check out the drinks? Oh, okay. I know, I know, I'm sucking at this. It's just that I'm so hot over heels, I can't think. You know when you like someone so much that you're afraid that anything you say might ruin it? You guys just need to let go. Oh, I can tell how much you like him. He's awkward because he likes you too. That's the one. I'm 100% sure he's being awkward because he likes you too. Just give yourself a chance. Why don't we hit the dance floor? You don't need to talk while you're dancing and you can get a little closer. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at him dancing. Yes, that's how we do. Hey, DJ, put on some hip hop. We got to move to bust pop. We want to throw our hands up in the air. Dance tracks. We want to lose ourselves in the beat. That. There we go. We got the dance music. All right. Wow, they're really going wild. <laughs> okay, Adam's dance move is my favorite. Okay, there you go. Finally, the couple's dancing. I hope they're dancing too. <gasps> Yay! I hope you don't mind this. I've been wanting to dance with you all night. Did you see how close they got on the dance floor? I hope Austin's going to make a move before the end of the night. Yay, a kiss on the cheek. Hope we ask her on a date. Score. We're like the best commentators and spectators ever. And they're so cute. 10 points to the bestie ship. You and me should go pro at this Cupid thing. I'm going to say 10 points to the bestie ship. 10 points to Nozen. Operation Secret Cupid is almost accomplished. They just need a little last boost to become official. Official? Thank you both for connecting us tonight. Nova's kind of the most incredible person I've ever met. Aww. Aw, shucks. I love everything about this. I'm so happy for you two. My turn to step in. I have to let them know that I fully shipped them. You two should have slayed the soulmate game. Oh, would have slayed. I don't think you're going to last. Once again, the non-diamond option is absolutely terrible. So we're just gonna put our blinders on and pick that diamond option. You two would have slayed at the soulmate game. I just know it. I could tell you guys were meant for each other since I saw you together at the golden party. Was I that obvious? No, but it's obvious what I need to do now. Celebratory dance time, peeps. Woohoo, yeah. Okay, they're killing it. Okay, and they're, they kissed, finally. Would you like to go on a date with me tomorrow? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, they are adorable. So I'm very happy for them. And I like how they're both besties. Thanks for everything, Bora. I'll never forget what you did for me. Of course. Of course you won't, because I'm a best friend ever. What's this? It's an invite for my bachelor party. What? And I got a bachelorette one too. Let's celebrate bachelorette party. They said yes. And one for my bachelorette party? Whoa, you know some shenanigans are gonna ensue in the next chapter. Anyway, let me know if you guys enjoyed this chapter. It was super duper adorable. All wrapped up in a cute little bow. And our we got the besties, we got the sweetness, we got the little domestic bliss, we got everything. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.